How's it going everyone? My name is Jinji and welcome back to some Forza Motorsport 6 for another episode of Budget Build. Now today's challenge is building a car that can go 220 miles per hour for less than 40 grand. So a, a 220 mile per hour car for $40,000. Well, fuck. That's gonna be hard. Now the person who suggested this did not include whether the price of the car counts in the budget, what class, you know, any kind of restrictions. So make sure that when you guys leave suggestions that they're very detailed. For instance, saying whether the price of the car counts or what class the car can be in, that sort of stuff. But I'm just gonna assume that the price of the car does count. So let's do some searching. Now I had an idea of, well, Chevrolet because Murica or Ford because Murica. I'm figuring for top speed you just want power. Weight does not matter as much for top speed. It still does matter but not as much. So muscle car is where I'm really figuring we should go. A couple of good options would be a Camaro IROC Z and a Monte Carlo Super Sport. Out of those two I would definitely go with the IROC just because it's got much more power for only six more grand. Um, so Camaro IROC maybe. These old doges are really good but they're all incredibly expensive so can't do that. Now in Ford we have a SVT Cobra R, a Fox body pretty much. However this car has less power and less torque than the IROC. Holy shit. I just realized the Pontiac Aztec is only $5,000. Why is it so cheap? <laughs> what? Oh my god, that that may come in clutch for future Builder Bots. <laughs> Ooh, huh. Here we have a 2002 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. 325 horsepower, 350 pound-feet of torque. So very similar to what the IROC has, however it is 200 pounds lighter and it's newer. Now, you might think newer doesn't really matter, but newer engines will upgrade a little bit better. I'm pretty sure this is an LS something. Yeah, yeah, great, great job me. LS something, of course it's an LS. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the uh, Pontiac Trans Am. We have $17,000 left. Uh, not anywhere close to being able to swap in the NASCAR engine. We've got twin turbos and two different types of superchargers. Honestly, we just want the most power we can get. Twin turbos for two grand, nice. We got $15,000 left to upgrade the engine. Ooh, camshaft, nice. All right, three grand for camshaft. And then I'll do turbos. 80, yeah, that's pretty good. We've got $7,000 left, so I'm assuming exhaust. That's pretty good. Fuel system, yeah, that's also very good. And we got three grand left. Displacement, 35 horsepower. Bring us to 672 horsepower. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Sadly, I don't have enough money for weight reduction, but strangely enough, it actually makes the speed slightly worse. <laughs> However, as always, rims and uh, uh, arrow and appearance, uh, they're free. They are free. They're free. So let's get something. Some people might cry when I put Koenigs on a muscle car. All I can say is start crying. They're light. I'm assuming I'm not gonna do any of this, but let's see. Uh, well, that's actually kind of interesting. Oh, wait a second. It helps our speed. Wait a second. Well, supposedly it helps our speed. It looks kind of cool, so let's do that. Now, wing, we can, whoa. Oh, oh God. Or we can do that. If we could just like remove the wing, that would be great. Now, rear bumper, we can put that on there. That does actually help our top speed by a decent amount. An entire tenth of a, Unit, I guess. Same thing with the side skirts. Helps a little bit. It doesn't look too icy. And then a hood. Now we got some pretty crazy hoods. They all weigh the same, so uh, it's really the coolest one. And this one is definitely the coolest one. That looks really dope. So we're gonna put that on there. And the, this is all we can do. <laughs> um, supposedly our top speed is 206. That's 15, 14 miles per hour off the goal. Now the one thing I'm realizing is that we can't tune anything right now. And really for top speed, that is incredibly important. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the exhaust, which is $2,000 by 30 horsepower, which is sad. It's very sad. And then I'm going to get a transmission. And that means we can tune the tranny, make the gears longer or shorter uh, to get that top speed we need. So, boom. 645 horsepower, 580 foot-pounds of torque and weighing in at 3,500 pounds. So the question is, can it do it? 
We've got a lot of good choices for liveries here. We got the flames, which obviously make you go faster. We have an American flag, which should channel our inner American and make us go faster. We've got a cool sort of murdered out livery, which I, I don't know. That looks cool. And of course, we have the classic firebird with the, the golden bird and the golden wheels. I don't really know. Well, here is the firebird one. That does look pretty good. Black everything, golden letters, a couple of birds. I think that's good. It's clean. It's taking it back to the classics. Let's go to tuning. Huh. All right. Well, I'm just going to kind of do like a drag tune on here. Lower the rear tire pressure. Oh, God. The gearing's already as long as it can get. Oh, rip. I've been messing around with the gearing for maybe 10 minutes. It seems like the best top speed we can get with any configuration is 215 miles per hour. Now, that is according to the benchmark, so it might not be right, but it's uh, it's so close. Uh, so what I did is I left the final drive as long as it can be, and then I shortened fifth gear a little bit, and I shortened sixth gear a little bit. Really, we're just gonna have to test it. Um, but let's move on to some other thing. Oh wait, we can't tune anything else. Okay, let's test it. All right. Oh damn, this thing looks sick. I just want to listen to it though. Oh, <laughs> nice big V8 with twin turbos. That's uh, that's certainly fun. All right, let's uh. Go to the testing zone. Wow, this gearing is certainly long. Jesus Christ. First gear takes us to 80 miles per hour. What the f <laughs> All right, we're coming up to the straight. Let's just gun it. We need as much space as we can get. All right, 100. We're halfway there. <laughs> Only in third gear, we've got six gears, so hopefully we can do it. All right, 170. 180, 190, oh god, it's slowing down, it's slowing down a lot, we still got 20 miles per hour to go, and two gears, 200, 205, alright, shifting up the fifth, come on, come on power, 210, there's a corner coming up. All right, we got 210. Oh, I hit the wall. All right. 210 for that run. All right, we're turning around. Get some speed. We really need, like, every inch of this straightaway in order to do this. So let's just, uh... Oh, that was bad, but... All right, gunning it. 80 miles per hour, that's 100. All right, see, I don't I don't really know how this is gonna work, but it's so close. If there wasn't this corner up here, we might be able to do it on that first try. We'll see though. Two, uh, 210, I see a 210, yes. All right, I see a 211. Oh God, here comes the end. We're getting close, 212. 212. Ah, hit the wall again. Oh no, oh no, we're dead, we're dead. Oh, we're so dead. Honestly, I'm gonna try shortening the gearing just a tad because the gearing is so long that it's just, it's hard to get to that top speed. So 240 SX, no, let's do 235 SX. All right. Merging onto the straight. Let's do this. 190 in fourth gear. 206. All right, come on. Come on, down a hill a little bit. 210. Good. 11. 10. All right, we got a little bit more space. Come on. Down the hill. No. Come on, 11, 12, 11, oh, I just saw an 11, that's it, damn it, so close, oh my god, you really can't see shit out of this, it's worse than the Camaro, and there's 211, ah, 212, Ah, 
Nope. Goodbye. <laughs> oh my god, it's hot. All right, we're doing it one more time. This is take four, I believe. All right, we're at 208, shifting to six. Oh, six is way too long. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're losing speed now. Dramatically. We don't have enough power for six to be worth it. <sighs> All right. Maybe I'm gonna try shortening the gears by like a decent amount and then we can use six. Six gears still too long. Ugh. We don't have enough space. If we had more straight space, I almost can guarantee we could do it. Why? And the car is like perfect because that was rubber, obviously. Oh, that was actually pretty sick, to be honest. And 205th gear, okay. All right, sixth gear. I still think six is too long. Oh wait, no, we're accelerating still, barely. 211, ugh, and then we have to turn. Ah, uh, then we hit the wall. It's so close, it's so, oh my goodness. See, when you make it too long, it just, I don't have enough power. It's like, ugh, come on, come on. So close, but yes, so far, honestly, if we had more, Space, we could probably do it. But I guess we, we don't have more space. <sighs> okay, well, it can't do it with 40 grand. Oh, 360? No, mm, landed on the top. All right, so I fooled around with the gearing a lot. I don't think we're gonna be able to get it to work. I'm sorry, <laughs> but we are now going to find out how much extra I have to spend to make it do 220. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is get weight reduction. Um, technically, this would be free, so yes. And also, technically, it doesn't affect top speed, but it might, because it's Forza. So let's just try it now. It surprisingly does not feel any different now that it's 600 pounds lighter. Let's see how it does. It's accelerating a little bit quicker, but we were actually running out of space, so this might help. Fifth gear. 200. All right, let's do this. Come on, baby. 10 still. <laughs> 11. Uh. Okay, so that did not help. All right, so let's go ahead and try throwing on that exhaust, an extra 30 horsepower. Um, and then I also want to throw on some springs gives us capability of tuning All right, so pretty much what I did is I lowered the car all the way made the front as stiff as possible um, Less drag in the front lower you are more aerodynamic. That's that's my logic at least all right Let's do this springs and an exhaust Extra 30 horsepower can it get us an extra? nine miles no, eight miles per hour we shall see. It does actually feel a little bit better. Uh, and it looks significantly better now that it's a low. God, it was so monster truck before this, but. <sighs> All right, fourth gear, 200 miles per hour. Let's keep pulling. It's crazy, like the faster you get going, the harder it is to get going faster. That didn't really make any sense. Pretty much it's easy to make a car go 200, but to make it go 220 is much more difficult. Like once you, oh shit, I'm going 214. I gotta pay attention, 215, come on. Oh, get an air. Uh, I saw a 215. Huh, okay, so 215, that's an extra couple miles per hour. Sweet! Let's do more. All right, I'm gonna throw in an intake, 17 horsepower, some valves, 20 horsepower, and better pistons and compression, and another 30 horsepower. So this should definitely do it. All right. Coming on straight away, gunning it, kicking the tail out. All right, let's do this. All right, fifth gear, 200. The thing is, the gearing is plenty long. It just needs the power to get through those gears. That's what I was having issues with. But already, 215, or, two, or 215, there we go. 216, 17, come on, 18. Come on, baby, come on, 19, come on. Yes, 220! There we are, 221. 222? 222, come on, I want the 222. No, no 222. Ugh. 
All right, well, we did it. We, we, we finally did it. 220 mile per hour Firebird. All right, so first challenge failed. We did not manage to make a 220 mile per hour car for 40 grand. We were very close. We managed to make the Firebird go 212 with 40 grand. And with an extra 10 grand, it got to that 220 mark. So close, so close, just eight miles per hour, but uh, yeah. It was, it was close. But guys, I really enjoyed doing a challenge. I hope you guys did too. Pretty, pretty close. Good budget, good challenge. Thanks to the viewer who uh, uh, suggested that. If you guys have any other great ideas, make sure to put them in the comp section below. If I like them, I'll do them. As always, make sure to check out my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Snapchat for more Gingium stuff. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time, and peace out. Spinning. Wow, okay, grips up in fourth gear, but uh go, go. Oh, alright, let's try that again.